Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to The Punisher. So going into this next episode, um, I'm just mostly intrigued. I want to know what is um, going on with this girl, and I don't know how long they're going to make us wait out. Here's the thing. I, you know, we know Frank, and we know he's kind of just trying to help, so like I get you know, like, I'm also kind of on that frustrated side of like, oh my god, girl, please just say something. Or, you know, let him know what the fuck is going on. But at the same time, I don't really blame her for being kind of scared, but I think she's more withholding stuff. I don't know how much I trust her, but like, I also get her, you know, and it, uh... so I just want more information. Let's get started. For it is time, the scripture says, to seek the Lord that he may come and rain righteousness upon you. If we serve faithfully, we will reap rewards. I have become recently aware of a serious matter. It's going to need a special kind of attention. One of ours has been thrown to the lions. Rebecca and the boys will be well looked after while you're gone. Um, what? I feel like everything in the first few episodes of the show is, it's so cryptic. Is it not so cryptic? What is it? What? I'm not a suspect. I'm the victim. Ask your boss. Girl, you need to stop with this. I need caffeine and sugar. I've been up all night taken prisoner. We're not all highly trained like you are. Oh and my so god, girl! You need to pump the brakes with this. Or is it Susan? No. Peggy. Or maybe Stephanie? Same prince, but under more aliases than Carter has pills. Oh! You are not as sly as you think, girl. You know, little departments like yours don't handle homicides. They bring in the state police. You let me out now. I'll tell my people not to permanently erase your name from the ballot. Girl! Oh my god. <laughs> Trouble is coming, Sheriff. Trying to fully recall a nightmare is like pulling on a spider web. If you yank hard on it, you're gonna break it. What you write down doesn't have to make sense. You're gonna shit my titty sex! Why won't you help me? You're agitated because you need sleep. Me! This is a guy that should be reintegrated into society. You know, he's doing great. It's not too late to put this right. We can do that, you and I. Girl. Oh! God damn it. <laughs> I want to see his mangled ass face. Sorry, is that an. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sure. These guys are here about an extradition. The bottom line out here to take two prisoners off your hands. We were talking about a white male, white female. Correct. Where it is, he uses a kid as a mule. Hang on, you're talking about a female juvenile. That's right. Yeah, uh, <sighs> the thing is we barely had time to process the girl. This Thursday. Thursday? What kind of town is this? Kind of does Raymond's on Thursday. That! Yes! I love him. But why well, least you can let us see him. Ask a few questions, see what they got in their property, potential evidence. No, thank you. What's that sign? Management reserves the right to refuse service. That's it. Okay. I mean, you might die, but I oh, love you. So good. Did you take an oath, Sheriff? Uh-oh. See, Excuse here's the problem. An oath? This motherfucker. I, too, made a promise before God. Uh. He that sows the wind shall reap the whirlwind. Oh my god. I live for this cop though. Ah, uh, The sass was Go. real! Shit. What the hell? Seriously? Uh, what let Frank loose. Radio? I mean, they don't really know, but I mean like, let Frank loose! Everybody arm yourself! What is this, Sheriff? We don't know what this is. 
that you're holding a rifle? You should too! Everybody get your guns right now! And it will slip one to Frank. Uh oh, she is unhinged. No, this, this isn't my case. But you're here anyway. Yeah, she's heavily fucking invested. Yes. There was an activation of Billy's fear network in response to emotional and cognitive triggers. This Responses one's getting on my last nerve. <laughs> Escape. Everything I saw was a confused and frightened individual acting on impulse. You think I'm so bad at what I do that I can't tell the difference? Yes. We tried to ban you from this place. I banned you, Agent Madani. I got sick of asking nicely. Oh, hey! Do I need to get you escorted off my crime scene, Agent Madani? Ooh! The good doctor thinks Russo is a lost soul cast adrift in the world. Maybe you two deserve each other. Ooh! Oh, don't be talking to him like that. He. Please, uh, uh, uh. All we need is one of us to go get help. If I take the charge, no, no. I'll be back. Oh, the sweetie, you're gonna die. Because even realize it's happening. Then all you need to do is get clear. Whatever's jamming the radio, call the stadies. Okay? Let's go. Oh no, honey, you're gonna die. Oh, he's gonna die. I care so much about the sheriff's department right now. I can't even tell you. He's just a kid trying to prove himself, baby. You don't have to do it. Fuck. 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 Shit. What the hell? It's too much car. I'm hit. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. I really don't want the sheriff to die. Well, at least now they probably believe him. Get everybody inside. Oh my god. No! No, what are you doing? What are you doing? What can I do to help? What can I do to help? Hold this hard. Okay. Just, just hang in there, okay? You need all the help you can get. You're the cause of all this, you murdering bastard. Okay, lady. If you put around in someone. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy fuck! I mean, you're not gonna hit anything. to that. Great.
no way. Dying. Yes, it is, girl. Listen, I just I wanted to say thank you. I gotta say it was really amazing putting your life before a bunch of people you barely know. So, oh, thank you. So your name really Rachel. You are a mystery girl, but I kind of like you. I would like it if he was never here. I mean, he did save all your lives. Just to just throw that out there. So there's a scenario where she doesn't take you, and you still weren't here. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. My pants Aww. trashed. I kept the guns. I wonder where bodies on my conscience. No offense. I'm taken. Think you might want these two. Where are we going? New York. Yay! Back to New York. We've seen enough of the country. We don't need any more. <laughs> Spoken like a true New Yorker. <laughs> okay, I loved that episode. It, uh, there's something about um, the a lot of these kind of Marvel shows that I feel like they introduce new characters and you just automatically kind of really care about them. Um, the girl is, she's, she's very interesting, whatever the fuck her name is, Rachel, not Rachel. I find her interesting. I don't know how much I love her. I don't know how much I trust her. I don't know, but like, I kind of like her. Like she needs to start talking, but I kind of like her. That's kind of how I'm feeling about her at the moment. Now, but I loved this kind of idea of this like sheriff's department kind of getting caught up and all of this that sheriff was the best I was so scared he was gonna die but he was I oh, I, I adored him um, such a good guy uh, and there's something about like I feel like this show in particular that really kind of puts a spotlight on like there are good people everywhere um, I've noticed that even in the first season I feel like there were could maybe not I wouldn't say, like, or the secondary characters and stuff like that. I mean, we saw, like, Brett earlier, and, like, did everybody's trying to just do the right thing. It's just they go about it in different ways. Now, that's not... Anyway, that was just a random thought. But, um, yeah, I'm really interested to see where they're uh, going with this whole thing, because it's, uh... This villain... I, who I don't know his name. I don't know if we've heard it yet. Um, but the God-fearing man, I'll refer to him like that. Uh, he is really interesting. And I have I've find the first bit of this episode to be kind of very, very... Um, giving us a little bit of background on him but not enough at all. And I like that they're just giving us little tidbits. I feel like the show is kind of keeping us in the dark, much like, you know, Frank probably feels right now. You know, we, we know Rachel. Uh, we know she's in some shit. We don't know what. We know this guy is fucking bad news, and but we don't know why. We don't, we don't know a ton of anything, and... Um, so it's kind of like us as an audience, we're kind of like supporting Frank in the sense of we're going with our gut that it's the right thing. And, and I, I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, I loved the, the focus on the, the sheriff's department and, um, you know, Frank saving them and, and the sheriff having to kind of take a little bit of a leap of faith with with Frank going out there. That was such a crazy sequence. And it was one of those things that it was so dark that it instilled in me, like how, like, um, I'm even trying to find the right words for it, but just like how terrifying or how like nerve wracking it must be just going and putting yourself, I mean, Frank's done shit before, you know, but like just putting yourself in a situation that, you know, um, 
it's great. The dark it makes sure that the your enemy can't really see you either, and you know, very. Um, but, but like I, I get that. But at the same time, it really I felt like the whole atmosphere really kind of. Um, you know, like I'm kind of like squinting to see what's going on and like I'm nervous and stuff like that. That was really uh, um, interesting. I also like that we have two different storylines right now that we're really kind of um, concerned with, or I would say two main storylines. The stuff with Rachel and what the fuck is going on and then the stuff with Russo. Um, and man, I love, I love the actor for Russo. I think he's great. Um, I am so over the whole, like, we need to feel bad for him. This therapist is getting on my last nerve. I, I don't know if it's just me. It might just be me. I don't know. Cause I feel like maybe some people would kind of like, uh, um, relate to her in the sense of like, yeah, people need second chances and stuff. But like, I'm of the... Like, I'm kind of with Madani that there is possibly a chance that he doesn't... Sorry, I'm... <laughs> allergies. Um, there's possibly a chance that Rousseau doesn't remember anything and that he's telling the truth or whatever. But I feel like he's full of shit and just plotting shit and, you know, whatever. But also, even if he didn't, like, let's say he is a bit whatever. He just went ape shit on those guys. And this therapist is still like, but he really, I, I can't, I can't with it. Like we need to, to lock him away somewhere much more secure and then possibly work on rehabilitating him. Um, I felt like their security wasn't that great. And I think they learned that the hard way. So, you know what I mean? And I think it's gonna be interesting to see if we're going to deal with Rousseau now. Are we dealing still with the Rachel thing? Like kind of getting on this helicopter and going into the next episode, like what's gonna happen? But I'm very excited uh, for the next episode. And I'm excited to be back in New York. I'm so excited. All right, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.